Hello and welcome to part two of the three-part series entitled Upside Down Fire. Um, so in part one, I began my Upside Down Fire for the first time. It's an experiment because I was impressed by a tutorial I saw that someone did a successful Upside Down Fire. And I thought, well, hey, that's interesting. I'll give it a try because apparently the fire lasts a lot longer. So um, we started it. Now I'm going to go into the other room and we're going to check out its progress. It's been 20 minutes. Let's see how the fire is doing after 20 minutes. Follow me. So, here we are. <laughs> oh dear. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness. That is not good. That is not good. Okay, let's go and talk about this. Come with me. You coming? <laughs> oh look, oh Chris, oh dear, 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 dear. That is not good. Okay, so what have we learned from this experience? Number one, don't believe what you see on the internet, and don't believe what you see on YouTube. Don't listen to people, especially his videos. Especially, especially ascensionists here, because uh, he talks a load of crap. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Look, look at that. Okay, so um, anyway, um, do you know what that I I don't know what to say. I'm speechless, man. I mean that is terrible. That that was a disaster. I'm never doing that again ever. Right? What a load of shit. Now it might be that I did it wrong. Right? It's either that the whole fucking thing is absolutely shit, and like, well. Yeah, there's that. Or I did it wrong. But it's not rocket science, you know. I was told if you build a fire upside down, that, you know, you light the kindling at the top and you've got the fire light at the top and you have it laid out in such a way that it can kind of fall down as it, as it lights, it kind of falls down and catches the more bulky stuff. And uh, it, it just felt like a good experience. Now I'm going to have to fucking go in there and take the whole lot out and redo it the traditional way that I've been doing it for a lifetime. So, there you go.